Absolutely. She says this is unfortunately a very common and all too well known instance throughout the U.S., but especially right here in Texas and the Permian Basin. The National Human Trafficking Hotline shows that about 7% of more than 51,000 calls from human trafficking were reported in Texas, second most behind California. Bounds says she has been working since 2016 to get that number to drop. It's horrific, it's criminal, it's heinous, it's buying and selling people as if truly they are, are a cow at a cell barn. January is National Human Trafficking Awareness Month. Founder and CEO of Reflections Ministries, Lisa Bounds, a survivor herself, says Texas is one of the worst locations for this crime. And the National Human Trafficking Hotline says the same thing. Their statistics show Texas is second behind California with the most state cases in the U.S. And Bounds says she's seen some of the worst right here in West Texas. We have people that have been sold 45 to 60 times a day for months and weeks and years on end. She says it takes much more than just taking someone out of the situation to save them. It's not an overnight change your clothes, give you a plate of cookies and pray for you and good luck to you. It is years of understanding what was even, that that wasn't even right. Bound says bringing awareness to this crime and having people look out for the crime is the first step to making a change. When are we going to stop hiding? Because it isn't going away. It's not going away. How do we be part of the solution? She says she's glad that more people are bringing awareness to this type of tragedy and says the fight is never over. How do we create self-sufficiency for people? How do we now be the group of individuals, the community that teaches other people how to be us? How do we walk that path of healing with them? Reflections Ministries is a nonprofit that houses, clothes, feeds, educates, and so much more to survivors of human trafficking, and it's here in West Texas. There's even been a new academy set up for people with children so these kids can attend school. Bound says the doors are always open to anyone who needs help. Now to learn more about the Reflection Ministries, and if you'd like to donate or volunteer, you can find a link to their website to contact them immediately on yourbasin.com. Reporting live in studio, Rachel Hallam, ABC Big 2 News.